Hey kids, I'm Miss Hannah Banana, and welcome to another exciting lesson on making judgments. Are you ready? Let's go. Here are some of our goals for today. You're going to define the term judgment, explain strategies to make judgments, and construct judgments by assessing stories. Before we move on, we're going to stop right there. And I want to know, do you know what is judgment? Well, judgment is the ability to make considered decisions or come to sensible conclusions. To make judgments, readers must ask yourself what the author is trying to say. Also, think about what kind of information is included in your story and why. Think about the character's decisions. Assess how the character looks. And last but not least, think about the character's actions. To make judgments, as readers, we must do three things. First, ask questions. Second, make connections. And third, form an opinion. Let's try those over one more time. First, ask questions. Second, make connections. Third, form an opinion. With those three steps, you're right on your way to making judgments. Let's break it down even further. When you ask questions, here are some of the things you should think about or you should ask. Is this fair? Was this a good decision or idea? Was it a bad decision? What would I do if I was in that situation or if I was in the story? Readers look at the whole situation and question whether actions are good or bad. Second, make connections. When you make a connection, you think about your own experiences as you read. You look for a connection between your life and what is going on in the story. Think about what you would have done if you were in the same situation. Got it? So you have to make a connection to the text. So it's called text to self. How is something in this story similar to something that has happened to me before in my life? Last but not least, you're going to form an opinion. Can you remember what is an opinion? An opinion is what I think, feel, or believe. Say it with me. An opinion is what I think, feel, or believe. Good job. Readers can agree or disagree with the character's actions. You also decide whether the character's actions are good or bad. Are you ready to practice? Well, let's go. O'Neill is on his bike at the top of a hill. He notices that most of the hill was wet. O'Neill is worried that his bike might slide in a puddle. He is also excited because it will make his bike travel faster. O'Neill jumps on his bike and starts speeding down the hill. Now, I'm going to read it a second time, and I want you to follow along. O'Neill is on his bike at the top of a hill. He notices that most of the hill was wet. O'Neill is worried his bike might slide in a puddle. He is also excited because it will make his bike travel faster. O'Neill jumps on his bike and starts speeding down the hill. Now, we're going to ask ourselves some questions and try to make a connection with this story. 
to help us form our opinion and make a final judgment. First question, is riding on a wet road a good or bad idea? Do you know? Have you ever rode a bike on a wet road? Or seen it happen before? What could happen to O'Neill? Are there any good things that can happen or bad things that can happen? Think about them all. And last but not least, what do you believe he should have done? I love all the answers you're giving and I hope you enjoyed this lesson. See you soon. To follow me, click on Instagram or Facebook and follow me at Wayna J or Classic 242. I can't wait to hear from you guys.